How does an electric motor work? DC motor. An electric motor, specifically a DC, direct current, motor, operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Here's a simplified explanation of how it works. The basic components of a DC motor are stator, the stationary part of the motor that contains magnets or electromagnets to create a magnetic field. In a DC motor, the stator typically contains permanent magnets. Rotor, the rotating part of the motor. It includes a coil of wire, armature, that carries the current. The armature is mounted on an axle, allowing it to rotate freely within the magnetic field produced by the stator. Commutator, a split ring device attached to the rotor shaft. It periodically reverses the direction of the current in the armature coil as the rotor rotates, ensuring continuous rotation in one direction. Brushes, stationary contacts, usually made of carbon or graphite, that maintain electrical contact with the commutator. Brushes supply electric current to the armature coil, allowing it to rotate. These components work together to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy, resulting in the rotation of the motor's shaft. The stator is the stationary part of an electric motor, including a DC motor. Here's a bit more detail about the stator. Function. The primary function of the stator is to generate a magnetic field that interacts with the current-carrying armature, rotor, to produce motion. Construction. In a DC motor, the stator typically contains permanent magnets that create a constant magnetic field. These magnets are often made of materials like ceramic or rare earth metals. Magnetic field. The magnetic field produced by the stator is fixed in direction and strength, providing the stable magnetic environment necessary for the motor's operation. Mounting. The stator is usually fixed securely within the motor casing or frame, ensuring that it remains stationary while the rotor rotates. Maintenance. Since the stator contains permanent magnets, it generally requires minimal maintenance compared to other motor types where the stator may contain electromagnets that require external power sources. Overall, the stator is a crucial component of a DC motor, providing the static magnetic field necessary for the motor's operation. The rotor is the moving part of an electric motor, including a DC motor. Here are some key points about the rotor. Function. The primary function of the rotor is to rotate when subjected to the electromagnetic forces generated by the stator's magnetic field. This rotation is what drives the mechanical output of the motor. Construction In a DC motor, the rotor typically consists of a coil of wire known as the armature. The armature is wound around a core and mounted on an axle, allowing it to rotate freely within the magnetic field produced by the stator. Armature the armature coil carries the electric current supplied to the motor. When current flows through the armature, it creates a magnetic field that interacts with the fixed magnetic field produced by the stator, resulting in rotational motion. Commutator The rotor of a DC motor also includes a commutator, which is a split ring device attached to the rotor shaft. The commutator periodically reverses the direction of the current in the armature coil as the rotor rotates, ensuring continuous rotation in one direction. Brushes. The commutator is connected to the power source through stationary contacts called brushes. Brushes supply electric current to the armature coil, allowing it to continue rotating as the commutator switches the direction of the current. Rotor movement. As the armature coil rotates within the magnetic field produced by the stator, the interaction between the magnetic fields generates a torque on the rotor, causing it to rotate. This rotational motion can be harnessed for various mechanical applications. Overall, the rotor plays a crucial role in converting electrical energy into mechanical energy in a DC motor by rotating in response to the electromagnetic forces produced by the stator. The electromagnetic principle refers to the fundamental relationship between electricity and magnetism, which was first described by several scientists in the 19th century, notably André-Marie Ampere and Michael Faraday. This principle forms the basis for the operation of electric motors, including DC motors. The key points of the electromagnetic principle include Ampere's Law Ampere's Law, formulated by André-Marie Ampere in the early 19th century, describes the magnetic field produced by an electric current. It states that a current-carrying conductor generates a magnetic field around it. The strength of this magnetic field is directly proportional to the magnitude of the current and inversely proportional to the distance from the conductor. Faraday's Law of Electromagnetic Induction Faraday's law, discovered by Michael Faraday in the 1830s, 
describes how a changing magnetic field induces an electromotive force, EMF, in a conductor. This phenomenon forms the basis of electromagnetic induction, which is crucial for the operation of electric generators and motors. In the context of electric motors, Faraday's law explains how the rotation of the rotor, armature, within the magnetic field produced by the stator induces an EMF in the armature coil, resulting in the generation of electric current and the production of mechanical motion. Lorentz Force Law The Lorentz Force Law describes the force experienced by a charged particle or a current-carrying conductor when it moves through a magnetic field. This force is perpendicular to both the direction of the current and the magnetic field and is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field, the magnitude of the current, and the length of the conductor. In the context of electric motors, the Lorentz force law explains how the interaction between the magnetic field produced by the stator and the current-carrying armature coil generates a force that causes the rotor to rotate. Overall, the electromagnetic principle forms the theoretical foundation for understanding how electric motors, including DC motors, convert electrical energy into mechanical motion through the interaction of electric currents and magnetic fields. The Lorentz force is a fundamental concept in electromagnetism that describes the force experienced by a charged particle or a current-carrying conductor when it moves through a magnetic field. It is named after the Dutch physicist Hendrik Lorentz, who first formulated it. The Lorentz force. F. Acting on a charged particle with charge. Q. Moving with velocity. V. In a magnetic field. B. Is given by the following equation. Equals times F rovnitko q v b where F is the force experienced by the charged particle Q is the charge of the particle V is the velocity vector of the particle B is the magnetic field vector the direction of the Lorentz force is perpendicular to both the velocity vector V and the magnetic field vector B the magnitude of the force depends on the charge of the particle its velocity and the strength of the magnetic field in the context of electric motors, the Lorentz force explains how the interaction between the magnetic field produced by the stator and the electric current flowing through the armature coil rotor generates a force that causes the rotor to rotate. As the current carrying armature coil moves through the magnetic field, the Lorentz force acts perpendicular to both the current direction and the magnetic field, resulting in the rotational motion of the rotor. This principle is fundamental to understanding the operation of electric motors, including DC motors. Rotor rotation refers to the spinning motion of the rotor component within an electric motor, including DC motors. Here's how rotor rotation occurs in a DC motor. Electric current flow. When an electric current is supplied to the motor, it flows through the armature coil, which is mounted on the rotor. Interaction with magnetic field. The electric current flowing through the armature coil creates a magnetic field around it, according to Ampere's law. This magnetic field interacts with the fixed magnetic field produced by the stator, either permanent magnets or electromagnets. Lorentz force. According to the Lorentz force law, when a current carrying conductor, the armature coil, is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. This force is perpendicular to both the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. Torque generation. The interaction between the magnetic fields and the current carrying armature coil generates a torque rotational force on the rotor. This torque causes the rotor to rotate. Commutator action. In a DC motor, the direction of the current in the armature coil needs to be reversed periodically to maintain continuous rotation in one direction. This is achieved using a commutator, which reverses the direction of the current as the rotor turns. The commutator ensures that the torque produced on the rotor is always in the same direction, resulting in continuous rotation. Brushes and commutator. Brushes, which are stationary contacts, maintain electrical contact with the commutator as it rotates. They supply electric current to the armature coil, allowing it to continue rotating. Overall, rotor rotation is driven by the interaction between the magnetic fields produced by the stator and the current flowing through the armature coil. This rotation is harnessed to produce mechanical work in various applications of DC motors. The commutator is a critical component found in DC motors, and it serves the purpose of ensuring the continuous rotation of the motor's rotor, armature, in the same direction. Here's how it works and why it's essential. Function. The primary function of the commutator is to reverse the direction of the current flowing through the armature coil as it rotates within the magnetic field produced by the stator. 
By periodically reversing the direction of the current, the commutator ensures that the torque generated on the rotor is always in the same direction, resulting in continuous rotation. Construction The commutator consists of a set of copper segments, known as bars or segments, mounted on the rotor shaft. Each segment is insulated from the others and connected to one end of the armature coil. The segments are arranged in a circular pattern around the shaft, forming a complete loop. Split ring design The commutator is essentially a split ring device. It consists of multiple segments, with each segment being connected to a different end of the armature coil. As the rotor rotates, the split ring commutator ensures that the connection between the armature coil and the external circuit is periodically reversed. Brushes Stationary contacts called brushes maintain electrical contact with the commutator as it rotates. Brushes are typically made of carbon or graphite, which are materials known for their low electrical resistance and ability to withstand friction. These brushes supply electric current to the armature coil, allowing it to continue rotating. Reversal of current. As the armature coil rotates within the magnetic field produced by the stator, the commutator reverses the direction of the current in the coil periodically. This reversal of current ensures that the force, Lorentz force, exerted on the armature coil remains in the same direction, resulting in continuous rotation of the rotor. Overall, the commutator is a crucial component of DC motors enabling them to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy by ensuring the continuous and unidirectional rotation of the rotor. Without the commutator, the rotor would stall due to the changing direction of the magnetic field produced by the stator. Brushes are essential components in DC motors, playing a crucial role in transferring electrical power between the stationary part of the motor, stator, and the rotating part, rotor, or armature. Here's a closer look at brushes and their function. function Brushes maintain electrical contact between the stationary part of the motor, typically the stator, and the rotating part, the commutator or slip rings on the rotor. They supply electric current to the armature coil or rotor windings, allowing the motor to function. Construction Brushes are usually made of carbon or graphite, materials known for their electrical conductivity and resistance to wear. These materials have low electrical resistance and are capable of withstanding the friction and heat generated during operation. Stationary contacts. Brushes are mounted in stationary positions within the motor casing or frame, typically in brush holders. They press against the commutator or slip rings on the rotor with a controlled amount of pressure to ensure good electrical contact. Maintaining contact. As the rotor rotates, the brushes maintain constant contact with the commutator or slip rings. This contact allows the brushes to transfer electric current from the external power source, such as a battery or power supply, to the armature coil or rotor windings. Wear and maintenance. Brushes experience wear over time due to the friction and electrical arcing that occurs during operation. Periodic maintenance, such as replacing worn brushes or cleaning the commutator surface, may be necessary to ensure proper functioning of the motor. Brush material selection. The choice of brush material depends on various factors such as operating conditions, voltage, current, and desired service life. Carbon and graphite brushes are commonly used due to their favorable electrical and mechanical properties. Overall, brushes are vital components in DC motors, facilitating the transfer of electrical power from the stationary part to the rotating part, enabling the motor to operate efficiently and reliably. Continuous rotation refers to the uninterrupted and sustained spinning motion of the rotor armature in an electric motor, such as a DC motor. Achieving continuous rotation is essential for the motor to perform its intended function effectively. Here's how continuous rotation is maintained in a DC motor. Stable power supply. The motor must receive a stable and sufficient power supply to maintain continuous rotation. This power supply can come from various sources, such as batteries, power converters, or electrical grids, brushes, and commutator. In a DC motor, continuous rotation is achieved through the action of brushes and a commutator. Brushes maintain electrical contact with the commutator, which periodically reverses the direction of the current flowing through the armature coil as it rotates. This reversal ensures that the torque produced on the rotor is always in the same direction allowing for continuous rotation. Uniform magnetic field. The stator of the motor generates a magnetic field that interacts with the current carrying armature coil. To maintain continuous rotation, this magnetic field should be stable and uniform, 
providing consistent torque on the rotor as it rotates. Balanced mechanical forces, the motor's mechanical components, including bearings and shafts, should be properly lubricated and aligned to minimize friction and resistance. Any imbalance or misalignment in these components can hinder continuous rotation and lead to premature wear or failure. Load considerations. The motor should be appropriately sized and rated for the intended load. Excessive loads or sudden changes in load can cause the motor to stall or operate inefficiently, affecting its ability to maintain continuous rotation. Overall, Continuous rotation in a DC motor is achieved through the coordinated action of electrical and mechanical components, ensuring that the motor operates smoothly and reliably over an extended period. Proper maintenance and operating conditions are crucial to sustaining continuous rotation and maximizing the motor's lifespan and performance. In summary, a DC motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy through the interaction of magnetic fields and electric currents, resulting in the rotation of the rotor.